While mainstream media is telling us that everything is all good and shiny, the economy is booming and there is no chance for recession, and the central bankers have got everything under control, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has told us in his last speech that he is not forecasting recession anymore, so it's going to be a soft landing. At the same time, you're seeing the cracks are forming in the foundation of the banking system, especially in the US, we saw the facility that was set up by Federal Reserve under the name of BTFP to provide emergency lending to these troubling banks, which is seeing uh, a credit outflow. Uh, that facility is still pumping money in the commercial banking system, which means those banks are still requiring the emergency funding in order to protect themselves from being bankrupt. In Canada, the six major banks are uh, increasing their their loss prevention program, which is called PCL, which is which stands for Provisions for Credit Losses. And we have we have seen in the last quarter these banks have increased their reserve amount uh, by 3.5 billion dollar in the last quarter, especially CIBC, who has increased their reserve amount by 203 percent. So these banks are definitely seeing something uh, in the economy, which is why they're getting ready and prepared for these potential loan defaults. If the economy is booming, everything is nice and shiny, right? If the central bankers have got every control, why these banks are seeing these troubles uh, in terms of getting ready for these loan defaults? Think about that. So these mainstream media, we should be taking their narrative with a pinch of salt. Go back to 2006 and 2007 when everything was nice and shiny. Everybody was saying that there is no issue with regards to economy or the banking system. It's sound and functioning. Yet we have seen the, the biggest financial crisis in the banking system in 2008. So uh, you will see the same narrative in the financial media today that everything is nice and shiny. You know, the banks are performing very well. We will not see any recession in our lifetime as um, you know, Janet Yellen told us but we are still seeing the trouble bearing in the financial system. As an investor, you should be looking at uh, across multiple streams to try to connect the dots to get the clear picture because if you believe on financial media, mainstream media especially, uh, you will al always be deceived by their narrative. At the same time, we're seeing the job numbers came out in Canada for the, for the month of August. At the high level, it looks pretty awesome, right? 20,000 jobs for expected, we posted 40,000 jobs in the month of August. Yet, if you compare this with the population growth that we have imported a lot of people in this country, that population growth is way outpacing the amount of jobs we added in this country. So uh, to some estimate, if you, wanna, if you want to be at par with the population growth, the monthly job net ads has to be 50,000 per month. That's what we require to add jobs in order to match the population growth. I don't think this job number is a positive story. It's a negative story, to be honest, because of the population growth. Uh, but I don't think this will change the Bank of Canada's narrative as yet. But we still have to see the GDP and uh, the unemployment data before the next uh, rate hike meeting in the month of October. Anyway, this is just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. Let me know. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.